Lyle, let me begin by congratulating you and the town, a $1 million grant from the federal government. Well, the town first, you know, it's, uh, but thank you. It, um, it was, uh, it was a surprise. Uh, there were, <coughs> it's, a, it's called a revolving loan fund. Um, that's a million dollars. And there were eight of them given in the U.S. We got one. And the uh, grant administrator told me we're the only one who got the grant on the first try. So I'm delighted with it, to say the least. What goes into submitting, I guess, an application for a grant like that? I'm sure it's not easy. <laughs> no, because it's a federal grant, there are, if, if, if you talk to anyone who's ever submitted a federal grant, um, they, they, they have a, a uh, terminology and uh, a system that's unique and needlessly complicated in my view. But uh, so getting the information to submit the grant is straightforward. We've done so much work with the, the two sites that were involved. I'm assuming we're going to talk about that in a little while, that getting the background materials is the easiest part, getting it submitted and having all the I's dotted and T's crossed to the nth degree is, is the difficult part, so, so. The $1 million, uh, I know the property on Broadway is one of the sites that uh, the money will be used for. Yeah, there are two sites uh, that we submitted in the grant application. One is the, the Webster, the abandoned Webster Mill on Broadway, and the other is the abandoned Benson Trust Mill on Robinson Avenue. Uh, both are in imminent, they've been declared in imminent danger of collapse, which means nobody can go into them. Uh, they both have volatile organic compounds in the soil surrounding them. It's a leftover from the old jewelry manufacturing days. We know exactly what's in the soil at the Webster's mill because we got an $80,000 grant two years ago to, to have the soil tested. We're not quite sure yet about Benson Trust, but the, the purpose of the revolving loan fund is to make very low interest, extended length of time to repayment uh, loans available to developers to help them um, as they raise the sites and the material has to be hauled away, clean the soil and then repurpose those, those sites into, we hope, affordable housing. Um, s developers have looked at both sites but when they've calculated the projected return on investment uh, for redeveloping the sites, um, the, the, the amount that it's going to cost to raise those sites and clean them up is prohi prohibitive and they just can't make acceptable profit. So, you know, adding a million dollars in low cost loans will do a lot to help one or the other of the sites, maybe both. Now, the, the low-cost loan has to be paid back. Does, does the developer pay back the federal government or the town of North Attleboro to use the money elsewhere? Well, I, that's a good question. I, I'm not, the, the way the, the, the grant was explained, we, the town would be given the money with the understanding that we would make uh, loans available so they would repay the town with our terms. Um, you know, 50 years, half percent, something like that is you know, not beyond the realm of possibility. The other alternative we have is to make a grant available, and that could be $350,000, but we'd, we'd strongly prefer to make, uh, to, to use it for a loan, for, for two loans, ideally. And then finally, time frame. Uh, how, how much does this speed up the process and any guesstimates? And I know it would only be a guesstimate at this point. Well, yeah, I can tell you exactly what I know. And that's, uh, there's an all day, actually a two day training session at the uh, EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency site in Chelmsford on June 22nd. So I have to go to that as one of the awardees to get all the details for the grant. And then during the course of the summer, We'll be completing the application, completing the the application for the funding, and no funding will be given until the government, the federal government starts their new fiscal year, which is October first. I've been told, I don't know this for sure, is that the 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 award that we got is the last of the competitive grants that we have to 
uh, apply for in, in the space of brownfield assessment and redevelopment. Because we have this, as we spend down that amount, um, there'll be other funds made available from the EPA. Uh, we'll have to apply for them. They won't be non-competitive. We're pretty much guaranteed them. And when I talked to the grant administrator, she said, or a very nice woman named Dory Parr, who works for the federal government, she said that um, we'll probably winding up, wind up uh, first cleaning up all the contaminated sites in town, far beyond the two that we got. And we could wind up being awarded as much as $8 million for all the cleanups. So this is, we really, you know, unlocked the keys to the kingdom with this one. So I'm, again, I'm, I'm delighted that we got it. I've been working myself for as long as I've been working for the town on getting something done with the contaminated sites. And it looks like, you know, finally at long last we're getting there. So once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much.